Welcome to the Hydraulic Press Envy channel. Behold the resurrection of Little Screwy. It lives. Now to ask me the answer that everyone's been questioning, why do things explode when you compress them? Well, in the press. Why do they explode in the press? Like the paper folded seven times, just about went into another dimension. Nuts. I'll tell you what's going on. Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Today, Little Screwy, The Resurrection. We're gonna see if we can't get her choochin' again, only with the hydraulics. Now, I love high force stuff, especially using the power of the inclined plane. This is an Armstrong, but we're gonna convert it over hydraulic because, I mean, obviously hydraulic's better. And I've been getting tons of questions about this uh, hydraulic press channel, like when they folded up the, the paper seven times, how come it fucking exploded, exploded? What the F, yo? And then the hockey puck, smoke, smoke blew out of it. What the F is going on? And I'm gonna convert this over to a 30 ton press uh, cheaply, so I'll show you that. And of course, we got little screwy here that I made recently. This is a 25, or this is micro screwy. This is a 25 ton press. Fits in the palm of your glove. And as you can see here, what I've been using it for is broaching custom security fasteners. So instead of putting a lock on stuff, uh, locks only keep out the honest people, what I do is I, I make a custom fastener that only I have the tool for. And it's just like having a key. If I could get the Jesus thing out, I would show you, but I can't get the Jesus thing out, so fuck it. As you can see here, little screwy, written hard and put away wet. Oh, just like a German virgin, good and tight. Whew. Anyway, we'll try and salvage this. If not, we'll have to make a brand new one. Oh, there we go. Just a matter of getting the right tool for the job. I think because this is totally sprung, you look at this. Oh, gone cattywampus on us. Actually going the wrong direction too. Anyway, meet you back here in roughly an hour. Stupid like a fox. Don't crush that laminated tree carcass, but good. I wonder what it'll do to a Prince Rupert's drop. I intend to find out. Now to ask me the answer that everyone's been questioning, why do things explode when you compress them? So when we start to load up the material, we start the press. It's in elastic deformation. Elastic means it's just springing, okay? Just doing that. Then once we get past that springy area, and we force it even further, it actually starts to deform. And that is plastic deformation. Then what happens is it, it gets so packed in and rigid that it won't move anymore. And the internal forces keep climbing, keep climbing, keep climbing, keep climbing, until finally, boom, it explodes like a spring. The internal forces get overcome by the external forces, a crack forms, and then it explosively releases all that energy that was pent up. And that's what we're seeing. Hydraulic press channel. <laughs> they crushed a, a hockey park and it was amazing to see, but that's exactly what's happening. And if you go back and watch that video, you will see the elastic range very quickly and then you'll get into the plastic deformation and it starts to curl out, out of the press and then all of a sudden, boom, lets the smoke out. That's uh, the forces that are just holding it back and, and something happens and it just lets all that energy out in an instant. And that's what we're seeing. And a good example of a material that's failed in compression is focus you. Thank you. You can see here, right along here, this was all elastic deformation. It sprung back. But in here is plastic deformation. And we can see where it's actually, yeah, 
quite damaged. So, elastic, plastic. Fuck. It's about to go. Boo. Well, those are pretty crushed, but no explosions. Now we have the piece of paper folding. Five folds. Well, son of a diddly. The press isn't strong enough. Thirty tons. Nothing. Wow. Well, obviously, whatever press they got there over in Finland. Got a hell of a lot more skookum than a uh, little screwy with the hydraulic add-on. So very interesting, it has been plastically deformed and it just turns to like crusties. We didn't get the big pop out of her. So disappointment. Well we got a little screwy upgraded with the oil, hydraulically. Might as well check the Paragon of Materials. Tungsten carbide. This is the machining type, this is an insert for Cut and steel. See how that does. Well, that turned to powder in short order. Same thing, tungsten carbide. But this is uh, this is a rock drilling button. Gonna see what happens to this. A little bit different. That is the difference between tungsten carbide. Oh, look at that. Nary a mark on it. That's the difference in grades of tungsten carbide. This is boron centered, and the other ones, if I'm not mistaken, are nickel centered. Totally different beast. This would make a hell of a round if only somebody could think of a way to make them fly straight. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a vice. Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Made in the United States Freedom. I never had one of these. Figure I try one. Oh my god. Blah. Those are horrific. Huh. What a waste of subterranean Yellow dye number 11. I trust you have no more pressing business, Mr. Bond.
Looks about the same going in as it does coming out. My dear friend, en collaboration avec les farmers de corn américains, I present to you the latest in gourmandise. Propylene roasted peep. Oh, tabarnak, une friandise délicieuse known by the province of California to cause the cancer. Keep your chick in a pressing device, Mr. Bond.